Lesson 2-2, we're going to solve equations that have variables on both sides of the equation. To do this, we're going to get um, like terms on the same side of the equation, and we can always do that by adding or subtracting a term to move it. So we're going to solve these equations. Our first one, problem A, is 2A plus 3 equal 3A. Notice that we have a term that has a variable on both sides of the equation. So I want to move them to the same side. Since the only term on the right side is 3A, I'm going to move this positive 2A from the left side by subtracting 2a, which will cancel out on the left. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. So 2a minus 2a is 0a, it just cancels out. And 3a minus 2a is just 1a. And since a is by itself, we've solved this equation. B part, 3v minus 8 equals 7 plus 8v. We've got a term that has a variable on both sides of the equation. So um, it won't matter on this problem whether we move them to the left or the right side. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 8v from the right side. What I do to one side I must do to the other. And that will cancel out these, the 8v on the right. And so we get 3v minus 8v is negative 5v. I'm going to go ahead and bring down the rest of the equation. And I want to get negative 5v by itself because it, is, um, it includes our variable v, and that's what we're solving for. So I'm going to get rid of this minus 8 by adding 8 to both sides of the equation. And the result is negative 5v equal 15. And then last, to get v by itself, we're going to divide both sides by negative 5. So v equal negative 3. Notice that once we uh, set this up into, um, we got rid of the variable from both sides, this turned in right here to a two-step equation. And so from that point on, it was very familiar. Part C, g plus 7 equal g minus 3. So we have a variable on each side of the equation. So we're going to get rid of one of those. And notice that they are both the same. So when I get rid of this g on the right side by subtracting g, It'll also end up getting rid of the g on the left side, because what we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other. So they'll cancel on both sides, and we get 7 equal negative 3. Now this is a special case. When we get a number equal a number, then there are two different possibilities for the solutions to this equation. It will not be an x equal a number or a variable equal a number equation where we get one answer. In this case, we've got a number equal a number and it is false. This tells us that there is no solution to this equation. There is not a single answer we could plug in for g that would make this true. We could also get a number equal a number that's true, and we'll talk more about that in the next lesson. But that would be called an infinite, an infinitely many solutions answer, where there's an infinite number of answers. But this one is no solution. And we're done with this problem. D part, 2c plus 4 minus 3c equal negative 9 plus c plus 5. Notice on the left side that we have like terms 2c minus 3c, which equal negative c. And we'll bring down that plus 4 on the left side. Notice on the right side that we have like terms negative 9 plus 5. So we bring down the c, 
and negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. So now we've got a little equation, negative c plus 4 equals c minus 4, where we have a term that includes a variable on both sides of the equation. I think I'm going to get rid of this c by subtracting c from both sides. Be careful, on that left side, a negative c minus c does not cancel out. It's like negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2c. And so we bring the rest of the equation down, and it becomes a two-step equation. We want to get the term that includes the variable by itself first. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides to get rid of this plus 4. And we end up with negative 2c equal negative 8. Then divide both sides by negative 2. And c equal positive 4. So we combined like terms. Then we got rid of um, the variable from one side of the equation, and it became a two-step equation that we solved in two steps to get c equal 4.